right now, guys, we're gonna make a DIY moss pole for my pothos ivy that is currently growing outside until the winter comes, then he will be brought inside. So let's get going on it. All right, materials for today are scissors. This is a piece of window box cocoa coir, like the liners for a window box. Um, I bought one, one was $5, and I'm gonna be able to get two moss poles out of that one liner. So actually, this project is gonna be about 250. And then lastly, some string, I have like cotton string. And of course, you need something to wrap this around. You can use like PVC pipe, bamboo, probably not wood unless it's pressure treated because it will rot. But for me, I wanted to use, I, I figured I had to have something I could use instead of having to buy it. So I found a broken handle. Full disclosure, this used to be a pooper scooper, but um, the scooper part broke off. So. I am using a pooper scooper handle for my moss pole. It's free and I don't care. I cut the liner in half. The liner essentially was a giant rectangle that they glued. This is very sticky, very sticky, yucky. I do not recommend doing this like, you might even want gloves if you were gonna do this because the sticky stuff is a little irritating, at least for me, but I'm not wearing gloves right now and I'll just deal with it. So I've marked where, okay, so the stake is gonna go in the pot. It has to be able to support it. So um, I marked where the um, wrap, the cocoa coir needs to start and it'll go all the way up to the top. So I'm just gonna wrap it pretty unprofessionally. I'm going to fold this over and roll it. I'm trying to roll it kind of tight. No. Now I'm going to start wrapping it. This is one long string and I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to kind of hold this down a bit. Pull this under. What's so nice about this is that it doesn't really matter too much how it looks because it's going to be covered by ivy anyway. So it doesn't really matter what it's looking like double tie and I'm just going to start winding the string all the way around. And now I'm just going to wind it back down the other way just to kind of double up on the strength. this puppy off and call it good and that's it my extremely kind of janky moss pole for two dollars and fifty cents as opposed to fifteen dollars now if I ever want to add height to this I will probably have to get PVC because I can't add you know what I bet I could I could find the dimensions of this and get a coupling and add to it like that. Add more PVC to the top. To the top, so maybe I can add to the top. But anyway, there I go. I'm going to soak this in water, I think, and let it get nice and moist. The only thing about using cocoa coir for your moss pole instead of like sphagnum moss, cocoa coir isn't going to hold the moisture as well as the sphagnum moss. So I'm just going to give this a good soak. Hopefully, kind of get rid of some of the sticky residue that's on it. And um, I'll just try to make sure that I like, especially once the vines start growing up on it, I'll start like misting it or kind of watering, watering the plant by watering the pole and letting it run down and into the pot. So there you have it, $2.50 moss pole.